All right, guys, GoodBoy32 here, checking it out. So I'm sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and I wanted to do a real quick video addressing, uh, well, the, the letter that Adam Kraut received from one of somebody who sent in a question clarification to the ATF concerning uh, the proper, let's say, how to measure an AR-15 pistol with a folding attachment. First of all, I'd like just to say, Please don't send in letters to the ATF asking for further clarification on something more than they haven't done. Uh, guys, every time that somebody sends a letter in, well, what's going to happen is, is that they're going to clarify it. And they're going to clarify it on the, on the more stringent side than if you had just left the issue alone. So if you've got a question, hell, ask the community. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. But in any case, saw the video from Jared this morning concerning uh, the proper means and methods of their interpretation of how to measure a AR-15 pistol as it relates to a like a folding stock. So if you have, say for instance, uh, let's just do this guy right here. So this is my one of my favorite AR-15 pistols. I absolutely love this guy. And you put a law folding attachment on it to where it folds over. The actual measurement would be from either the end of the barrel or a pin and welded muzzle brake to the end of the law attachment, not to the end of the buffer tube with it's fully extended. Now here's the thing, ATF has got a lot of different measurements and a lot of different things. They've clarified that a brace is a non-essential. This guy right here is not a permanent part of the pistol and it is a brace, it is not a stock. Okay, so please don't ask for further clarification on what is essential and non-essential. They've also determined that 26 inches is the minimum for non-concealability. Okay, anything under 26 inches you can conceal. Anything over 26 inches you cannot conceal, or they have determined it. It's pretty much you can't conceal it. So that's what gives us the measurement. Anything under that with a vertical grip, guess what, isn't any other weapon as far as an NFA is concerned. If I'm wrong about this, guys, please put it in the clarifications down below. But this is my interpretation of the response from the ATF. All right. So basically what we have here is you have a, an AR-15 pistol. Now, this stick is 26 inches in length. Guess what? If my muzzle brake right here was pinned and welded as it, and makes that a permanent part of this firearm all the way down right here, to the end of the buffer tube, well, that I can put a vertical grip on that. Okay, very simple, very easy. Never been a change in that. All right, but the minute that you put a law or some other type of folding stock assembly, what happens is, is this guy goes from being here to being here, and you've shortened the overall length of that firearm to where it does not meet the 26 inches. That reminds me of I'm like one of those guys at a ride at the, you know, you gotta, gotta meet 26 inches to be in this ride. It's a very simple, very easy thing. Now here's the, here's the, uh, here's the, the, uh, well, the, the slippery slope that I'm finding out. Say for instance, I have a rifle that's not a pistol. And I put this guy on there. This is a 14 and a half inch. And as it sits right now with a pin and welded, it meets that criteria of the 26 inches. But if I put a, a folding stock on this, okay, well, actually it still would meet the, the uh, 26 inches. So at the end of the folding stock assembly, it would probably still meet the 26 inches. But that's, that's where I have an issue with and where it's confusing. Um, are you going to put a vertical grip on something like this? Absolutely not. But I get a lot of emails asking about that 26 inch rule. And guys, I just say, use your common sense. Uh, Jambi Gay, the other day, he uh, emailed me wanting to know if he has an AR-15 pistol and puts a bipod on it. Is that considered a forward grip? if it's under 26 inches. I guess if it'd be one of those four grips with a the bipod assembly that pops out the bottom, that's a vertical grip. But if you put a, you know, a real deal, I don't have one laying around here close to hand, but if you put a real deal uh, bipod on it, I don't know if you can consider that as a, uh, what do you call it? A vertical grip. Y'all let me know down below. But you know, here's the thing. 
I've got here, this is a pin and welded with a 14 inch, uh, 14 and a half inch barrel, and I'm running a vertical grip on it. If I were to take this, and because it's pin and welded, that muzzle flash or flash suppressor right there becomes a permanent part. I am guessing that if I put a law attachment, it would have to meet or exceed that 26 inches in order to put a vertical grip, or this becomes an any other weapon. At least that's my interpretation of the letter. So your points of measurement are from either the barrel, this is pin and welded, to the end or wherever it is, or basically that's it. So um, guys, I wanna just to clarify that real quickly in a quick video. Uh, these law folding stocks are really cool, but you know what? The law is, it, it's there, it's black and white. 26 inches is the minimum. If you put a folding stock on a pistol brace, which is called, this is non-essential. This is not a permanent part or a part of it that is meant to be shouldered like this guy right here. Well, then you've got to meet the minimum standards. Well, with that being said, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I know that uh, ATF, we, every time they put something out, we don't really like it. But guys, quit sending these game questionnaires in. And then they won't have to further clarify, clarify stuff that really expands on it. But it logic speaks. This is the minimum length that you have to meet in order to put a vertical grip on a firearm, pistol, or whatever. If it doesn't meet this, you can't do it. No big deal. Put a bangle foregrip. As goofy as they look, it is what it is. 26 inches. You got to have 26 inches to be on this ride. It's Coda Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. And we always stand for the flag. And screw Nike. <laughs> it's Coda Boy 32. I am out.